Steve, and he gets his due diligence. You know what I mean? Yeah, Marvelous Marco actually had a, a very good week the week after that happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, I'm being facetious. You know, you're, 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 no matter what the, what the hell is pizza parking? Um, I don't know. That's not my Switch. I can't answer any questions regarding the Switch or any pictures on the Switch. Pizza parking? Pizza parking. I'm sure it's a very popular indie game that all the kids are playing. Damn. Are you going to play pizza parking on your stream? You know, depends. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. I it's, think there should a, be a donation goal for pizza parking. It's like pizza parking as opposed to what? Like like hamburger parking? Yeah. Is there a different, like no, like a nomenclature? Is there a different uh, ramen cul parking. culture surrounding? Yeah, ramen parking. Dude, have you ever parked at a ramen restaurant? That's that's a mini game of its own. Well, I'm from Orlando. Unlike LA, we actually have parking at places. Oh, yeah, so we have no nice. parking anywhere. Yeah. You want boba? No parking. You want ramen? No parking. Bro. You want pizza? No parking. You get it delivered. I swear to you, I swear to you, this venue was like 25 miles, 30 miles from where I was staying. Hour and a half drive. How does that make any sense? Um, what is wrong with like LA traffic? There's this weird thing that like distorts time so where drives are lo longer than they should be. There's a time wizard. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, time wizard. Man. But yeah, we have Marvelous Marco and Nexus. You know, Nexus played very well earlier in the in the tournament, overcoming Chag. Now Marvelous Marco beating MM Leo, and here they are for our first our first best of five. They were in best of five city top eight. We saw Nexus just do absolute artwork versus Chag. Going to see if we can continue that same level of precision. Starting a quick little combo. Marco just jumping out of that forwarder, which might have been an early kill, honestly. Yeah. Uh, Marvelous Marco had gotten caught up in the forward air. The drill peck would have been just a little bit too much launch. I'm sure Marvelous Marco would be very unhappy if that happened. But the drag down there, oh, the combos just continue to come. Ooh, and you know what's also going to give him an edge? That Ooh. drill peck. I, the drill peck. I don't, you know, I'm not sure if, if neutraling to town and city was the answer. Just because Falco lands an up tilt ledge, like you're dead at like 70. Or like 80 at least. Yeah, but, and you know, I feel like, I feel like Marco counterpicks to the stage quite a bit. So I think he's very comfortable here. The next is showing, I mean, he's, he's a new man. Yep. This, this is a new bird altogether. This is a new oh player my God. completely. Oh, oh, and I like that counter from Marco. That was spicy. You can, you can reverse that up B and get a big old hitbox at the end there, which he did. And on town, that's going to kill hella early. Yeah. But, I mean, can we talk about the shine? The, the fact that Nexus has access to shine is going to make utilizing the projectiles that Marvelous Marco has a little bit harder. It's definitely a problem for Marco. He oh! No way! Holy cannoli! He just did that! Whoa. He burnt that bird! God, it's an even game. Yeah, even game. Whatever it's aggression, even game. whatever momentum Nexus had at the beginning of this game, gone, completely gone. Goodness, I feel like Marco has to win now, dude. You can't, you can't do that and just lose. Oh man. Well, definitely looks like Nexus having a little bit more trouble getting in on Marco yeah. than he did He's at the beginning the of the game. He's got the All the momentum's in his favor now. Oh. There's that reflect you were talking about. Yeah. Lands out on the bomb, up to, but it's only the sour spot. Still gets a grab back here. And there was that, you know, these cutscene combos that you were talking about earlier, HBox. Just really getting one hit that leads to two, three, or four. But we are seeing Marco, like, slowly oh. approach where these combos won't be. Oh! <laughs> Dude! He did that to him. That, that, that's all courteous to that Z drop down there that we saw Marco pull off on the second stock. Marco actually going crazy right now, dude. The momentum killer. The equalizer from Marvelous Marco. Truly the equalizer. I mean, what in the hell? I I have no words for that. <laughs> that. That had to hurt. They're here to win, man. That had to hurt. They're here to win really, really hard. One, go. All right, well. Running it right back, and you know what? I guess Marco has no problem playing on Town and City. No, it, 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 it seems like he's just happy to play. I just, I disagree, you know? It's it's a hard stage. It, it is a hard stage, but Marco's making it work. And you know, and you made a good point that, you know, killing off the sides from, from Town and City is gonna give. Oh. oh. 
And all the momentum we were talking about. Yep. Thanos snap. Gone. Gone forever. Look at this. Okay, I like the air dot off the side. It would have been risky, but he read exactly what Nexus wanted to go for. True. And as, but when he ever, he like, he kind of drifts out like that and decides to recover low, it also gives him the option to be reverse his recovery if Nexus decides he challenges. We already saw, like, how, how good Marco can utilize that recovery. Right. And look at that. Every single time a bomb is thrown up, even though it's tra you know traveling in an upward trajectory, you can still reflect Ooh. it. Still becomes your hitbox. Look at that falling lid. Look, look, get off of me. Snaps the ledge. Actually, it all worked out. He makes it back to the left side of the stage. 82% already on him. Lots of extra credit. The back throw will kill on Time and City. Yep. Get him out of here. That bird is gone. Marvelous Marco on 82%. So at this point, uh, Nexus really looking for those illusions, the up tilts into back airs. Whatever, whatever allows him to lead into back air or forward air off stage. Uh, I, I like the fact that he's just using Shine, like, you know, commonly, just frequently, right? Oh, yeah, because the great thing about, like, Falco's Shine is the entire time that it's active, it has the reflector property. That's why I love the concept of a matchup. you got to use the oh. character's entire oh. kit. Oh. Oh. oh! Okay, missed it. <laughs> Up tilt back air. Oh, soft. Laser missing also. Air dodge praying for dear life. Yeah, Z drop in the bombs. You know, allow him to uh, allow Marco to land safely. Okay, back to neutral. Not gonna die off this back throw. No, but getting a little bit of extra credit from that oh. throw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh my god, how are they both alive? This is wild. So unfortunate for, for Nexus as like the last hit, the one that big he needs. Backer. Yeah, big backer landing. Which is really good because if, if Nexus lost his stock uh, before Marco did, because he kept like falling out of the forward air, that would have been unfortunate for, for Nexus. Yep. Oh, here we go. Combo time? Marco's fishing a little bit for this up smash. Backer's gonna kill. Has a chance to go up on a 2 0 lead here. Marco might, uh, with his win, be a much more guaranteed to be in winner's finals of all places. Okay, the trades kind of going in Nexus's favor as he does have the percentage lead at the moment. But I think, I don't know, I feel like the game plan, the general game plan just seems to be working out for, for Marco a little bit more. Okay, Bomb gonna sort of cancel that or make it a little worse. Lands on the platform, comes back barely. Ooh, swinging just a little bit too, too much there, uh, Nexus. Getting predictable. Oh my god, there it is. There's, there's something that Marco wasn't predicting. One to one. The blessed 69%. Hitting it, and now game three will occur. Gonna be curious to see what Marco's counter pick here is because you know, they played two games already on Town and City, so clearly he likes the small blast zones. But you gotta understand, Falco's <laughs> dragged down into a back air. <laughs> done too. True, but uh, Marco also has ways to kill off the side. If he B reverses the up B, that's gonna launch towards the, the blast zone. F tilt at the ledge, especially if Nexus is trying to illusion to the ledge, will catch it. Uh, can also kill Nexus very early. So they both have tools to Kick. really utilize the side blast zones. Well, shocker to the whole chat. We're going to Town City for a third game in a row. Yeah, if we have all five games here, I won't be surprised. That's, I swear, that's a thing only Ultimate players do. Really? Melee, melee players, do, they don't do that. You, you like to switch up the stage? Is it because of the music, though? Well, uh, unless you're in New York. In New York, they play like every game on Battlefield. But I don't know. I it's just, kind of matter, matter <laughs> huge in melee. But Yeah, I think for, main, or for, for Ultimate, it's more about comfort. I guess. I can see that. But I, I have noticed that. Either every game on, on Stadium, like the Mexicans <laughs> do. Everyone on Stadium. Before it was Smash, still. Yeah. So. And that Marco grab from center, center stage. Way too far away to land any safe edge guard. He's trying to get the like the returning boomerang hitbox to do some work. Let's see. A yeah. B. That will kill. And it has that kind of awkward launch, too. It makes it a little bit harder to, to know where you're going to DI, but even if you get the 45 oh. angle, it's still pretty strong. Fair, down tilt. Once again. These bombs are saving Marco. Oh, oh, oh never mind. That's the first time I saw a forward smash land. That's up. They were saving Marco from really allowing Nexus to extend his combos. And I think they will continue to if uh, Marco keeps a, keeps a have one out as, as often as he is. There's some turnaround lasers. 
trying to tell Marco, come towards me. Oh, sneaking a boomerang below the shine. Hello. Oh, up B, my kill there, but didn't go for it. Hello. You gotta be creative, like I was saying. Snaps the ledge. A little bit get off me fair. Laser grab, okay. Okay, yep, here okay. we go. Big damage from Nexus. Putting 50, going from zero to 67. Oh, oh my god! Perfectly timed down here. And that was reverse too. What that a, was, yeah. What a sicko angle. And oh. Marco <laughs> inches back as quick as you can imagine. Last stock on game three. And that's actually, uh, I think it's a kill that Marco hasn't landed on Nexus yet. So I don't know if maybe Nexus forgot about how strong the F-Tilt is as a kill move. Oh, uh, jab reset, double, triple. Whoa, what yo, the heck? Yo, 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 yo. Okay, good directional air dodge from Nexus, saving himself from getting clipped. Getting clipped and losing game two, or game three. Are we, we going to have two Link in winner's finals? I'm, out, I'm, I'm for it. I'm down too. If, like, if, actually, you know what? Both of these characters are yeah, kind of nice. Yeah, I'm down for I'm either. Liking. There's definitely going to be a unique finals. Most likely Leo fighting one of these two gentlemen. I don't know. We have T3 Dom. I wouldn't count him out just yet. Is it Leo versus Dom? It is. It no, is it's, Leo. Leo, it's Leo Larry, isn't it? Leo Larry. Yes. Oh, we got Leo Larry next? Yo. Yes, it is. That's I'm right. I forgot about the so SD ready. again. Up oh. tilt. Okay. Yeah, he needs to land every hit. But simple as that, forward tilt off near like the center of the stage. Yeah, do it. I mean, that's the kill power of that F tilt that I'm talking about. You know, most of the links will kill off the top. They're going to try and kill off the top. They're going to try and convert into spin attack or drag down forward air and do something, some crazy. With, with Toon Link, it's F tilt. If it's simple, don't, like, F tilts are good for almost every single character in this game. They really made it. And that's why the introduction yeah. of tilt stick in general and just making that to be a thing has been so, like, pivotal. <laughs> yeah, point the yellow stick at the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What, who do you want to kill? This way? Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. the guy. Get him. Get him, yeah. C-Stick. That's the perpetrator. <laughs> okay. Now, are you surprised at our, our stage selection, H-Box? Wait, we're going town and city? Oh, oh, oh never would have thought no of that. No shot. <laughs> okay. No that one saw that coming. Yeah. All right, Mar Marco's boomerang is actually a little bit wild. Now that we're, like, we're having a, a bit of a spotlight on it, he's continuing like, to throw it at Nexus. Uh, and when it's not throwing at Nexus, he's throwing it in the opposite direction, waiting it for it to get that curve on the way back to really either pressure or save himself from Nexus. He's trying to he understand he has a pretty solid set lead against Nexus. Wants to use that mental edge against him. I think he's going to let the protectors do a lot more of the talking in this game. Oh, I he, like that, though. Yeah, that's going to catch a lot of options. It's going to catch the neutral getup. It's going to catch the dodge. Probably even like a drop down forward air. Just dashing back and forth, forcing Nexus to be the one to approach. You know what, Nexus? If you want to continue to throw out Shine, which, you know, you have the right because you're Falco. Yeah, more you power to you, right? But uh, Mark was going to force you to approach. And this is such a tense situation right now for the first stock. Some oh. really, oh. really strange offstage shenanigans there. Yeah, next is going. On. Oh, oh, again? Uh, uh, what a good tech! Oh my god, they cannot grab, budge. Grab. Someone yeah, take a stock. Uh, oh! oh, the god. boomerang. That's what I'm talking about. Oops. It just comes in like Sokka from Avatar. Just boomerang is the best friend. Would have been so filthy. He said, "You want, you, you want to stay away? I'll stay away too." <laughs> Every projectile you have is mine now. <laughs> Yeah, you can rack up damage, but unfortunately those lasers aren't gonna kill. Man. Forward air will, however. That would that was a that was a two minute first stock with Nia playing, wanting to commit. I mean when you think about it, like Nexus has to win this if he Whoa. wants to continue his journey in the winner's side of this tournament. Whereas Marco, he's forcing Nexus to play the the slower game. He really is. And we've seen Nexus like whenever it comes to Nexus game, he's playing really fast, being really aggressive. So this is kind of uncomfortable for Nexus. Falco's fair off the ledge is so fast. You immediately get caught into it. That should be a kill. Wow, even with great DI, Nexus still sent to the blast zone. Oh, oh, Again oh. with a super great angle, he gets it. Making Nexus have a stock lead right now. First time in the set. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. No, he can't, he actually oh can't do it, he can't do it because 
Uh, Marco will die first. <laughs> if Marco goes for that Z drop down air, like we saw earlier in game one, yep. uh, yeah, he dies first. A nice air dodge to the top platform to get out of a really sticky situation. Yeah, look at this. We continue to see Nexus playing the slow game, even though now he has the lead. Like, this is the moment where Nexus gets to dictate the momentum of the game. But right. still, he's opting to play the slow game that, that Marco had set. The same, the same kind of tempo. This has game five energy right now. Nexus playing the most patient he has all set. Okay, back here. I just hope that this patient play uh, doesn't come back to bite him. Because you can see Marco really closing the deficit between him and Nexus. 81 to 85, up tilt. Oh, oh too high? Maybe it's DIing up so that the up tilt won't connect correctly? Every added percent is one more nail in the coffin right now for Marco. Oh, that was a brave grab in front of like Falco f charging a forward smash. Yeah, and you know what? Although, oh, dude, oh, the like parry. that! Here's forward throw, okay, next is off stage. Some disco moves. No forward to there though. Oh, whoa! He yoinked him. He yoinked him. He scooped him up. He got him out of there. Yeah, when so he, you're in my hands now. Yes. And we see that Marco, you know, is at a very high percent. Forward air at the ledge, definitely going to kill. We can see uh, Nexus maybe even, like, bait out an air dodge or trap a landing into an up smash. Also going to kill. But you know what? I think Marco maybe, if he's not there yet, he's very close to the percents where the, the up tilt into back air and the illusion to back air aren't going to work anymore. It just might happen, but he needs one good entry right now with a bomb and preferably a boomerang. And preferably one that's not reflected. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, we saw one boomerang hit, but Reflector really being Nexus's best friend. Yeah, look, this Nexus is saying, <laughs> next stock, please. Next stock, please. Next game, game Wait five, a minute. please. Okay. This boomerang to save. Oh, okay. Jumps to safety. Next. Marco being so careful right now. Trying to thread the needle here. Honestly, really oh surprised. My At these like ledge, especially like really tense situations, we haven't seen like any smash attacks come out from Nexus. That is really good because obviously that's a really laggy move, and if you whip it, that could cost you the game. Whew. Whew. Oh, oh my again, god! Again, reflector 175. Nexus wants this so badly. Even fishing for grads at this point. I mean, the percentage on Marco doesn't even really matter at this oh point. Oh my, if it gets him to like 90. Wait a minute. Oh my, okay. Wait a minute. If that boomerang had landed, but okay. The drill. How is he alive? Forward air from across stage isn't going to kill. Grab him. Oh, oh, oh what's oh, he doing? No, what's he no. doing? Holy crap. Neither player falling for the traps. Marco's also like not committing whenever he gets like a bomber or a boomerang. He's not even throwing on an empty up. One, He's two, two hundred percent as the timer now is below one minute. Okay. Fifty-nine seconds remaining. Nexus can go for time. He it's isn't the type of player this to do it though. There's no way, right? He isn't the type of player to go for it. No, I don't even know if he really. Oh! oh, there's no oh. way it goes to time, dude. I don't know if he noticed the timer. That's the other thing too. Look at he the is. percent. These two have been playing for a week right now. It is so concentrated on just keeping Marco out at 105% while Marco sits at 224. Oh my god, is he going for time? I think at this point he's going for time. Oh. He's realized it. He knows that Marco, oh. especially at this oh time. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay, 25 this, seconds. The timer is coming down. We may see Nexus, act, he's, he is actively oh going for time. Oh my god. But it is, you know, it's at these like lower seconds these last seconds where people 13, really start to bring out those 12, panic options. 10, 9, 8, 7, oh, no 6, up no up 5 me. seconds, laser! Woo! No shot. A bam! Oh! oh! No freaking way! Wow. Nexus actually hits a timeout at 237% on Toon Link. I never thought that was possible. Four going to a game five. What the hell? <laughs> that was. Oh. Your timeouts can be hype. Bro, you know, timeouts can be hype, man. Timeouts are like pipe 90% of the time, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they are, dude. Down to the wire? 
when especially when it was like Holy. this kind of situation. Nexus needed to absolutely get the W to take it to a game five. Maintaining his spot in winner's side, maintaining the fight and the <laughs> opportunity to possibly play against Larry Lur or MK Leo in winner's finals. Dude, shout outs to the mod who ended the prediction too early. <laughs> Let's go, mod! I'd be so tilted. Oh, we're, we're actually going to game five. Run, run those bets again, guys. <laughs> run those bets again. And now, man, I think these two are trying this hard because they know they have a shot to fight MK Leo in front of 4,000 viewers and there. climbing. And climbing. Who wins this set? That is a great question, mod. Game if you five could on DM me the answer, I would love that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no shot to play on town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, if I was a betting man, but I'm not, uh, you know, I, I would definitely guess town and city would not be the stage. Early lead right now from Nexus. Now he has all the momentum going in. He knew how hard he worked for that timeout, how okay. tense it was, how many times he could have died. Kept it together. Might see a zero to death on this opening stock yeah, as the bomb the grabs it. Throws it down. The way that Nexus is controlling this game. He's looking poised to take game five, but this is only the start of game five. We've seen the momentum shift between these two players swing like a pendulum. Okay. What? Whoa, we tech those? I didn't know that was techable. Yeah, the bomb, bomb. save potentially. Dude, the, the item play from Marvelous Marco is the best friend. Okay. And, uh, no, Nexus saying, I don't care how many tricks you got up your sleeve. This narrow will do the work. Yeah, oh, oh man. This set just continues to get more and more intense between these two players. Okay, missing the tech chase. Marvelous Marco definitely on the hunt. 88. Still sitting pretty, honestly. Just needs to avoid the edge guard, honestly. Oh. And speaking of which. Oh, oh. too early. Okay, I, re I respect the attempt because it would have definitely guaranteed a kill. Air dodge snaps the ledge. Whoa, really weird angle. Yeah, it's just the multi hits and getting hit with like a weak. Uh, stage spike from the ledge. Ooh, the downer to answer. Ooh, oh, oh no! Oh, Marco! That's Throwing so his headset on the floor in exasperation, knowing how close he was to finishing the set off. Couldn't close it out game four, and now a nightmare situation on game five. Nexus about to be in winner's finals with Solo Falco. Solo Falco, you know, this bird has can do it all. Some oh, that's say, it! Some say there's no agenda. Oh. You know what? Le I think there's a Nexus agenda. Oh. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I wouldn't oh. be I would be salty too. Wait, come on. I would be salty too. But why though? Why walk away? That was a great set.